Hey yo everybody, Haku here with my review of Little Witch Academia Episode 3, and this one was, well, I don't know if it was a step up from last week or not. Both of them were really good. Let's just, let's just say that. It was really good. Why compare? Um, so yeah, I'm going to give my thoughts part by part and on some general stuff with it, but uh, overall, I will tell you from the beginning, I very, very much enjoyed it. I'm really glad we finally got to see some uh, more of the characters that uh, if you watch the original short films, you're probably already a little bit um, familiar with. Now, uh, starting at the very beginning, we have Ursula coming to mentor Akko and giving her her first broom, which is, again, really cool. I enjoy Ursula's character a lot. I'm liking what we've seen of her so far, and I hope we get a little bit more into her character, and I, th I think we will. Uh, also... Um, I, I thought it was hilarious when Akko was showing, um, her scars to everyone just because of the one line. All I could think of, she's like, you want to know how I got these scars? And I was, I was so done. I, th I thought it was just, I don't know, just the Batman parallels there, even though they were completely unintended, I thought was very funny. Um, so, yeah, that's just something random that made me laugh. We also find out that while they're there, they can't fly without the Sorcerer's Stone because it is all the, well, the source of all of the magic in the uh, school's campus area. Now, um, then we have the, uh, we have flight class and Akko, of course, can't fly, which again, normal sort of plot line, but they do really creative stuff with it. And then finally we have Waifu Amanda arriving in the uh, TV series, so I'm very, very happy about that. Then again, calling her Waifu, but I really like Ursula and Susie as well a lot. Um, Diana as well, even Akko I really like. Um, collection of bays. <laughs> so uh, I, I do think that, uh, yeah, there are a lot of good characters, but I'm happy to see Amanda here because I really loved her from the short films. Uh, then we have some build-up for the Broom Baton Race, and uh, we get to see the Magic Item Cafe. Now, at the Magic Item Cafe is the Shooting Star Broom, which of course we know is coming into play later. Uh, and it is filled with its own magic, so it does not need to worry about using the magic of the Sorcerer's Stone to be able to do shit. I thought it was very, very funny as well when Ursula comes up to Akko and gives her the little kindergarten book on how to ride a broom. I thought that was very, very funny. That was one of the funniest parts to me. Um, and then again, another very funny part is Akko trying to talk to the broom and convince it to let her ride it in all these different ways by like threatening it, begging it. Very funny. I really liked that. Uh, and then when Akko says they all, she already signed everyone up for the race and tells them about the prize, Susie is the cutest thing ever. Uh, like, like excited about the prize and everything. Cutest thing ever. And then we have all the sequences of Susie trying to, um, trying to train Akko to ride a room, which were all very, very funny as well. Uh, and also, I love, we get to start the race, and the race, all the sequences, all the scenes in that, there were so many amazing ones. Uh, I love Susie cheating, I thought that was very, very funny as well. And uh, I love her laugh. Um, so the race was very, very funny, Susie being best girl there. Akko's broom hopping around I thought was very funny. And of course, Akko gets the shooting star, but uh, we have some really great race scenes with the shooting star. And especially the scene at the end when Amanda's coming at her and gets red carded and uh, she's racing, facing off with Diana. Thought it was really, really cool. But of course, in the end, Akko loses. Because, um, because that sort of a moral life lesson thing, it wouldn't have felt totally earned and deserved if she would have won. But, ah oh man, was it, it was really fun and exciting. It was a very, very enjoyable episode. I would say maybe even more enjoyable than the last episode. It's hard to compare, but I really, really liked it. Uh, the first half, I will say, was a little slow, or at least all the way up until when she first starts trying to convince the broom to let her ride it. Everything before that did seem a bit slow. A lot of the animation just seemed a bit uh, just thrown in there. But of course, they have to do that to save some budget for the amazing, amazing animation later on. Um, but either way, I thought it looked pretty nice as usual. The music was nice as usual. Second half was awesome. Um, there were just so many great sequences in that race. Uh, and as far as characters go as well, like I already said, I'm loving the characters right now. Akko, I really think is a really good protagonist. Um, Susie, I love. Uh, Diana, I think is a good character as well. A good foil for Akko, as, as it were. 
Uh, Ursula, I'm very, very interested in, like the character, and I cannot wait to see more Amanda because she is waifu, and um, her and her team, I find, are very uh, enjoyable characters, so I hope we do get to see more of them uh, in more character detail. So uh, for a score for this one, I will give it 9 Nimbus 3000. Was that the, was that the broom from um, Harry Potter? <laughs> 9 of those out of 10. Uh, so uh, either way, yeah, 9 out of 10. Thought it was great. Almost wondering if I should give it a higher score, but that, sound, that sounds fine. Uh, either way, I enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Like if you did like the video, and comment down there to tell me what you did think of this episode yourself and what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more uh, Little Witch Academia, One Piece, Yojo Senki, Demi-chan Wakatari Tai, and uh, Kobayashi Sanchina, Dragon Maid, lots of anime right now. Also going to be doing a lot of The Walking Dead stuff, some more Pokemon stuff, One Piece as usual, Tower of God as usual, so many things right now. And that is uh, it for this week. Follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there on stuff for the channel, and that is it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.